you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to since day one before we get into this video about r kelly and his child support payments please like the video do not forget to comment down below and also if you're new don't forget to smash that subscribe button to take flight with us r kelly's judgment was withdrawn after lawyers said that he couldn't read a judge who ordered a default judgment against R. Kelly after the singer failed to respond to a lawsuit filed by one of his alleged victims now says the suit can proceed. The Chicago Sun-Times reports that Cook County Judge Johnson on Wednesday reinstated the lawsuit after R. Kelly's attorney said that the singer never responded to it because he's illiterate and couldn't read the documents when he was served with them. The lawsuit was filed by a woman identified as H.W., who is one of the four women that R. Kelly is charged in a criminal case. She contends she began a relationship with R. Kelly in 1998 when she was 16. I think it's totally unfair that H.W. did not win her lawsuit. I'm thinking that they should have just gave her that. Because even though R. Kelly says that he received the papers, however, he was unable to read them, that is still an acknowledgement that he received the paperwork. He has lawyers, so why could he not get one of his lawyers to read the paperwork for him? He has Asriel and Joycelyn. How come he could not get them to read the paperwork for him? I feel like the justice system is so messed up. I feel like that they're dragging out this situation with R. Kelly just so that they could try to milk him for all the money that he says he does not have. I cannot wait for R. Kelly to go to jail because I'm really just low-key tired of all of this backwards and forwards stuff. And I'm really low-key tired of y'all viewers, the people who come and view my video and want to support R. Kelly and be feeling some type of way and want to talk about my family and everything that's going on in my life. To justify why I make these videos about R. Kelly. The reason I make these videos about R. Kelly is because I have daughters as well. And I'm just not going to let them see me sit up here and support a predator. And for R. Kelly supporters with little girls, y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. R. Kelly was able to pony up $62,000 in back child support, y'all. So he is current. He has made up all of his payments to Drea Kelly. A couple of months ago, he went ahead and paid almost $170,000 in child support, but he still had about 50 to 60 k left to pay. And he just made that payment today. He had a court hearing this morning um, to meet with Drea about the rest of his child support payments. The judge did not change his child support payments. He's still required to pay $20,000 a month. Today, which is Wednesday, R. Kelly avoided another trip to the slammer by ponying up all of the back child support he owed to his ex-wife, Drea Kelly. The disgraced singer appeared in court today, which is Wednesday, in Cook County and forked over $62,000. He currently is supposed to pay just over $20,000 per month to Drea, and Wednesday's payment covers March, April, and May. Daryl Johnson, who is R. Kelly's crisis manager, had made this official statement via text and says after reviewing case, the judgment brought several weeks against Mr. Kelly was vacated. Mr. Kelly paid $62,000 bringing child support current to date. My client now looks forward to clearing his name and being cleared of all charges in the future. Mr. Kelly also places a check for child support in escrow for June, July, and August in advance. Well, if that's the case, he should have never stopped paying in the first place. He trying to say that because Survivor R. Kelly came out, that's the reason he stopped making payments. No, nah, nigga, you thought that you was going to get away with that. You thought they was going to let that slide because you was R. Kelly, but nope, they want all their coins. Drea want all her coins. Do you think that R. Kelly's lawyers went ahead and advised him to go ahead and make payments and catch up and also to place future payments for his child support so that, that his child support case does not jeopardize anything else that he has pending against him as far as his criminal charges? Because y'all remember when he said that he stopped paying it because the surviving R. Kelly documentary came out and he said that every woman in that video was lying on him. But this is just how the child support system works, you guys. Even though R. Kelly had got up to date with his payments of $62,000 to Drea Kelly, there is still a thing called interest and there is still something called arrears. During Wednesday's child support hearing, R. Kelly was informed he still owes Drea Kelly $32,000 in interest and arrears on child support. Additionally, Drea is now requesting he cover educational expenses for, the, for their 21-year-old daughter, Joanne, who goes by Buku AB. R. Kelly's attorney asked the court for proof that she's enrolled. 
And as we reported, R. Kelly was sprung from jail back in March after a benefactor covered his $161,633 tab for back child support. After he was released, R. Kelly went back to court to ask the judge to lower the $20,000 amount, claiming he could no longer afford it. That hearing was scheduled for today, but in the meantime, he's still on the hook for $20,000 a month. The problem was R. Kelly fell behind again on child support payments. Kelly stopped writing checks after claiming his ex trashed him to their kids, the move that ultimately landed him in Cook County Jail. R. Kelly later booked a one-hour nightclub gig in Illinois last month that earned him $22,000, which Drea was totally cool with for obvious reasons. But as it turned out, he never forked over the dough to get square with her. Of course, child support is only one of R. Kelly's worries these days as he waits to stand trial on 10 counts of abuse involving underage girls. Y'all leave your thoughts and opinions down below and let me know how y'all feel about R. Kelly's child support situation. The fact that we all think that he's harboring money. We all know he got some money. He ain't broke. I bet you he's going to wait like one or two, maybe three months just so that he can make it look like he tried to come up with the $32,000 in interest. But the greatest thing that I love about child support, y'all, is no matter how much you pay, you still going to owe a little some sum. So even though he's taking his time coming up with this $32,000 in arrears, it is not going to stop. It's going to keep rising. He's always going to owe something. And with the judge not lowering his child support payments, $20,000 is a lot of money. Not to mention it's going to keep rising and rising and rising. So he better get on the ball.